Creating visual content is an essential part of what I do, but the creative process hasn't always been easy. Listen, there was a time before certain apps existed. Okay, there is there is a time where I had to go. I had to, I had a hand draw. You had to post quality content. I had to post quality content. I had to take my school pictures, and then I had to um, I had to digitally shave them down manually. And then it was just a whole it was a whole process. Um, ever since I found Canva for Teams, it's been easy to collaborate and design with my team, which makes the whole process so much more creative and fun. Uh, my team is all around the world. Some are in Brazil, some are in Romania, some are in Australia. They're all anonymous. They don't wish to be credited, but they're there for me. With features designed for brand consistency, Canva for Teams makes it easy to maintain my aesthetic and add my logo font and colors to anything I create. I want my fans to know that it's me out there, not some not some imposter, not somebody else. It's me. Canva for Teams streamlines how we do social media too. Guess what? We plan, create, and then we schedule our posts. And then me and and then me and my counterparts in Romania and Australia were on the same page. Canva for Teams. Collaborate with Canva for Teams. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you go to canva.me slash bald. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M E slash bald for a free 45-day extended trial. Canva.me slash bald. Rolling. Okay, we're on day two. Day two of the Twitter check mark being gone. They How are you coping? It, they took it away. They took it away. They took it away. They took it away, Malin. Oh. You know what I love about it though? Um Shh. I what I love is now the only people left with check marks are the, are people, the people who, who bought them. them, those losers. Not losers, but uh, Bethany and Stevie wannabe from Pedophiles. down the street. Pedophiles. We don't know about that. We don't know about that. <laughs> They're all pedophiles, right, Tracy? I know that. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm obsessed with waking up and having no blue check mark and being like, you know what? The blue check mark was stupid to begin with. What was verified what? Verified, verified what? what? Thank you. Verify. Where do you coming into my house and well, verifying I'm, I'm my two bulbous Doritos. testes? I'm worried mm-hmm. about someone saying they're Doritos and tweeting that they hate Thank you. women or something. Thank you. It's like Thank you. Thank you, Tritzy. Tritzy. <laughs> you want to talk about verified? Let's talk about you for a moment, Tritzy. No, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna let you spin out, and I'm gonna chime in later. I've got things on my mind. Yeah, let me let me tell people what you texted me yesterday, which was so fucking crazy that I like laughed. It was so crazy. You said. What did I say, Tritzy? You said, can I do, wait. You said, are we doing the pod tomorrow? I said, yes. You said, fierce. And then a few hours later, you said, I'm going to let it rip on the pod tomorrow. And I said, in what way? And you said, I just have a lot on my mind with three exclamation points. And then you wrote me back, are you high? <laughs> well, then you said, can I do the cold, the, the cold plunge at your house? Because we yeah. don't heat the pool right now. Yeah, and I said, yeah. yeah. You can jump in the 70 degree water and believe that it's going to give you the same effect as ice water. Cocaine. Cocaine. Tell them what you think about ice water. I, ice water is like cocaine. You think that if you jump in cold water, it's going to give you cocaine feelings. So I don't think that. I know that because okay. science has corroborated this. Science has, there is peer reviewed data on the subject. Thank you very much, Mr. But I've Furcus. Done it. I've done it twice with you, and no, no, I don't no, no, feel... No. no, no, because that's not an actual cold plunge. To your point yesterday that you made in the pool, you were very correct. Yeah, that that's was just not 75 degrees. Yeah. 75 degrees is nothing. Of a, We need a 33 degree cold plunge. Yeah. And if you go, if you submerge your body for 30 minutes in that 33 degree plunge cold, you will. Death. No, not death. Quite the opposite. In fact, you will, your body will gradually release dop- um, uh, dopamine, not a spike. So like cocaine, for example, is a spike, right? A spike in a crash. Yeah. Same with like many other drugs. This is a gradual, um, uh, a gradual non-spiky release of dopamine that is equal to greater than, equal or greater than 150% that of cocaine. Wow. Dopamine. Yeah. It's a gradual. It's a gradual. It's not, it's, it's not like a spike. It's, it's not like, like a, a, a riser in EDM music. You know what yeah. a riser is? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and when the molly hit. They should have more nightclubs. They should just have ice baths. Thank you. But who in the, who in their right mind is going to submerge their body for thirty minutes Me in a thirty three degree? Yeah. If we could get off stage and get in that, or get on stage and into that, 
How about uh, that one? How about that? Cold plunge sings the blues. Right before on stage. No, <laughs> no. On stage, break a leg. Yeah. But maybe it could be like a circus act where you like jump from a super high thing into yeah. a glass of ice water. <laughs> It's be fantastic. And all that happens is you immediately break your neck <laughs> and you shatter a glass and your body hits it like. And yeah, you're dead ski, dead ski. I want to talk about not smoking cigarettes. Yeah, what's going on there? Nothing. It's great. It's wonderful. How is not doing cigarettes? Wonderful. Easy. Simple. I don't believe it. Never you. been easier. I'm doing reverse psychology. Oh, okay. Reverse psychology. But you've quit before. No, I haven't. This is yeah, the you first did. time. Reverse psychology. Oh. Opposite day. Mm -hmm. Everything is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I've never been more comfortable in my life. I've never felt more at ease. I've never been more in the moment, present, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I could pick you up with one hand and throw you out that window and scream and puke. I could scream. I could rip off that fucking pink sweater and then knee. I could, I could suplex your body. I could, I could drag a knee through your torso and scream blood into your face. <laughs> Let's take a break. I think it's time for the first break. <laughs> after the after the initial mental break, oh. who knew two cigarettes was the only thing holding your brain cells together? Holding it together, no drugs, no alcohol, which of course I don't drink anyways. But no nothing, clean, teen, yeah. too clean. Too serene. I know. Maureen. It's interesting that we all walk around believing that you are on the straight and narrow. And then when you come out to us as, well, I just had to stop doing everything. <laughs> and it's like, oh, well, so. <laughs> listen. Okay. Listen. It, if not smoking, love is a many splendored thing. If not smoking and doing drugs is such a shock to your system. <laughs> Hmm, something. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I, you know, listen. Can you fuck? Excuse me? Can you have sex? With this dead dick? No, like, <laughs> that's one of the only things you could do between now and the surgery is you can still have sex. Yes, I'm trying to go, I'm going to try to get a massage tonight. A sexy massage. It's hot in here. We just turned the air we on. We just turned the air on. Because Brandon okay. took the morning off. Okay, okay, okay. Is that okay? Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Jesus Christ. I'm just sweating. Um, I'm just sweating. Because I'm. I know. Well, let's change the subject. We can talk okay. about something else. Let's, talk about, let's some... talk about all stars. I would love that. Let's talk, let's about, talk about all stars. stars. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's go back for a second. Um, just so the fine folks at home know, um, I'm under a, a vigorous process of, I'm trying to get my blood pressure down. My blood, my blood pressure is skyrocketed. The silent killer. Not skyrocketed, but it's high. And they won't operate on me next Friday. I have surgery. And I, they won't operate on me unless I have uh, lower blood pressure. But why do you have high blood pressure? It's just a variety of, a constellation of factors. Is it natural or is it things yeah. you do to yourself? Yeah, too? yeah, yeah. Bofa. Smoking is part of it. Bofa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoking is a big part of it. Smoking is a huge part of it. So no smoking. I don't know about smoking. Smoking is horrible. Why are people smoking? Love it. Love smoking. <laughs> <laughs> why are people smoking? Love it. <laughs> Love smoking. Listen, I here's the thing about being a uh, okay. I, I I understand. I understand. I get it. I get it. You want to be healthy. You want to feel good. You want to do the right thing. Uh -huh. I get it. I don't feel that way. But you do about fitness. Yes, but that's different. That's about. <laughs> that's not about being a. It's not about like doing the right thing. It's about doing what I want. Mm. I want to do fitness. Yeah. I don't go into the gym like, oh, here's time for my two hour slog of things that I don't want to do in order to be a thing that I want to be. Right. That's not how I do fitness. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. I go to the gym to do activities that I love to do because mm. they make me feel good. Showering. Showering twice shower a day. At the gym. Twice a day. Do you shower at the gym? I enough? do. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Do you feel weird getting naked in front of people? No. They must feel weird getting naked in front of me though. Because you're boner. <laughs> Well, you have a pussy, but the boner, when you get hard, comes right out of the pussy. And it's because you have that rubber pussy on. No, I. <laughs> you ever put that rubber pussy on and push your boner through? It? <laughs> no, but I do go out. I go around with the tape measure and I say, it's time to measure your weenie. Mm. <laughs> In the gym. <laughs> I'm, I'm high. I'm with um, um, team, team services, weenie measurement division. Do you think do you think women care about big cocks? 
The way, yes. The way gay men do? Not the way gay men do, but I, I, I believe they have a vested interest. I you do think? believe that. Yes, I do. I do, I do. Because I know that um, for I, some women, um, and all the different people, people with vaginas, there's, um, you know, it's like, ow. Or it's like, mm, you know, so they, they want to know. They're interested. I, They're tuned in. You know what I don't like, though? And what? this is like, I don't, I don't like that. I feel like there's been so much evolution when it comes to like, don't shame people's bodies, mm -hmm. their bodies, their titty size, yeah. their baldness, whatever. Yeah. It, I don't like that it seems like people with small dicks, that's still very much on the table. That uh -huh. feels shitty. It feels yeah. shitty. Like I, I agree. We're supposed to be like, no, all dick sizes are good, but then it's totally valid to be like, get a fucking little cock. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. No, I don't like it either. And I, I think it speaks to the lack of creativity of, of the human being. Like, it, and I understand the metaphor of sometimes when you see he, he's, a, he's a little cock, it means like he's insecure. He's like compensating. Like there's the personality trait uh, we attach to someone with a little dick, but that's not fucking true either. No. There's a lot of nice people with tiny dicks. Absolutely. Baby, and, a, and, a lot of, and a lot of shitty people with huge cocks. And vice yeah. versa. Yeah, yeah. Um, that I, goes right on to the, the tail end of if you have a big dick, people are like, I don't know why you're a bottom. Which I'm like, it's no there's correlation. There's a lot of tops with small dicks. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, there's no correlation. It's crazy. People, I don't know. people have taken this uh, big cock thing out of, it's uh, totally out of control. It's out of control. It started with Madonna. Really? Do you like to suck big cock? <laughs> Truth the dare. <laughs> Do you want to suck big cock? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're right. I don't know. And I think you should say it. Are you all ready to shop? Rakuten's Big Give Week is back. It's a festival of savings with 15% cash back. Don't miss headlining stores like Fenty Beauty, Crocs, and Adidas, and hundreds more. I especially can't wait to save money on Persol and Kate Spade. With Rakuten, you can get cash back at stores you love and on things you buy every damn day. Big Give Week is the perfect time to save on everything you need for spring and summer like clothing, home decor, and travel. We only turn up the savings for Big Give Week once a year, so make sure to join by May 15th. You can shop like a VIP with 15% cash back. Join for free at Rakuten.com or download the Rakuten app. It's the most rewarding way to shop. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N. Listen. We've got all the wonderful, relevant categories that suit your life and lifestyle. Plus, uh, you know, like fashion, beauty, electronics, home essentials, travel, pet care, accessories. And some of the brands, just a, a small sampling of the many, many brands participating include Fenty Beauty, Stuart Weitzman, Elf Cosmetics, Glossier, Crocs, Kate Spade, Farm Rio, Expedia, Lenovo, Blue Mercury, H&M, Tom's, Dyson, Banana Republic, so much more. Oh my God, I've used it and I've gotten so many wonderful little um, uh, deals and, and cash back on um, Persol. Love Persol, love their glasses. They have a very specific shape that's very recognizable to glasses enthusiasts such as myself. Love it so much. They're an online shopping platform and that rewards you for shopping. And they give you cash back when you shop at thousands of brands across Amer almost every category from apparel to shoes to home essentials and more. Oh, Rakuten, Rakuten, Rakuten. I love it. Start all your shopping at Rakuten.com or get the Rakuten app to start saving today. Creating visual content is an essential part of what I do. I'm a very visual person. I'm a very visual person. I don't think you ever put a picture on the internet without changing it dramatically. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much, Barbara. But the creative process hasn't always been easy. Listen, there was a time before certain apps existed. Okay, there is there was a time where I had to go. I had a, I had a hand draw. You had to post quality content. I had to post quality content. I had to take my school pictures, and then I had to um, I had to digitally shave them down manually, and then it was just a whole it was a whole process. Um, but the thing about what what I post, it's all about love. It's all about enjoyment and enjoying myself. But here's the thing: it, there's no, um, it's not, it's not a solo effort. I've got teams around the world, around the clock, um, doing my beck, at my beck and call, doing my bidding, and we need to be connected, and we need to stay in contact, and we need to, we need our efforts to meld and um, merge seamlessly. Uh, crossing time zones, guess what? That's where Canva Pro for Teams comes in. Ever since I found Canva for Teams, it's been easy to collaborate and design with my team, which makes the whole process so much more creative and fun. 
Uh, my team is all around the world. Some are in Brazil, some are in Romania, some are in Australia. They're all anonymous. They don't wish to be credited, but they're there for me. And they make it easy to, if I want to post something, if I, if I want to post um, a 45-minute slideshow with me as um, every uh, first lady of the United States of America with my bra and panty off, they have, it, they have me there. They got, they got me. They've got me. They're doing it. Okay. And it's a design platform, this Canva for Teams. They make it easy for anybody to create stunning content in any format, whether it's a JPEG or a slideshow or, or a Martin Scorsese type of movie. With features designed for brand consistency, Canva for Teams makes it easy to maintain my aesthetic and add my logo font and colors to anything I create. I want my fans to know that it's me out there, not some, not some imposter, not somebody else. It's me. Canva for Teams streamlines how we do social media too. Guess what? We plan, create, and then we schedule our posts. And then me and and then me and my counterparts in Romania and Australia were on the same page. Canva for Teams. I love the feature on Canva for Teams where I can get to um, X out the background in a flash. That is useful. It's so useful. In, in, a, in a click of a button, in a flash of an eye, yeah. that, that background is replaced with something a little more sexy, a little more me. And we all know how busy you are. I'm so busy. I've got certain things. I've got laying down. I've got standing up to take <laughs> care of. Okay. Collaborate with Canva for Teams. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you go to canva.me slash bald. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash bald for a free 45-day extended trial. Canva.me slash bald. Well, we have some. Uh, we're going to look at some of the looks from All Stars 8. And we're going to judge how big their cocks are. <laughs> we're gonna tell you we're gonna we were like the pussy phrenologist um <laughs> is that where you pop in a pussy to figure out someone's personality yes. do you know about her she was no. on this she was on twitter unverified the pussy phrenologist in the corpse of mutilator she was the the corpse mutilator she's the pussy phrenologist you gotta look her up you missed that news cycle i don't want to go into another it <laughs> So can you take another one four minutes later? <laughs> so we have um, some photos here yes. so we can look at some looks now. I don't have a list of the cast list, but, but I do. I have it right. I can rattle off at the top of my memory. I didn't even recognize all of them, but I guess that's yeah. the magic of all stars. People look different. People look different. They got a lot of surge. You know, you can print out. <laughs> this is really poor, Tracy. This is poor. Well, look at look at this. Look at all these cameras. Tracy, this is okay. really poor. Okay, this is poor. Should we put it right okay. here? And it's like a very analog version of. Can we don't want them to see it. Yeah, we do. do we gonna, do. Okay. It's not a game. Okay. All right. So you know you you post or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. This is Alexis Michelle. Alexis Michelle. She looks absolutely beautiful. She's absolutely. now. This is this is the question I could not get out of my mind the whole time I'm looking at these cast photos. Who's Michelle? Who no? Oh. <laughs> Who is making these fucking? Costumes, yeah. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Miss Pink. Uh huh. I got if I got called back to do one of these All Star seasons, and yes, I have. Yes, I have been. Thank you. I didn't ask. <laughs> I say to myself, who would I call? Who would I call? I don't even know. Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. I don't know. I think. <laughs> who would you call besides Amy? Amy. And then I'll uh, just have her do all of it. All of it. Okay. Ka- Amy Sarazan, who built all the costumes for Trixie and Katya Live, does all my costumes. My, my, my uh, Queen of the Universe costumes this year, I was like, Because <laughs> 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 I have to sit down next to Vanessa and Michelle and Mel B all have way more elaborate teams than I do. Yeah. And I still have to scuttle in in my little tube of fabric and yeah. serve something. And yeah. thanks to Amy, I sure fucking do every goddamn day. Yeah. Um, but look at this incredibly structured gown. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, Although she is what, not a blonde. No. Uh, she has an absolutely beautiful face, but I think she, she kind of always has. But she's been a brunette, though. This is why I feel like, to call me crazy, call me a little old-fashioned. Uh-huh. But I think you, at this point in the game, you need to stick to your color temperature. Your hair color? Your hair color, not uh-huh. color temperature. Your hair color. Who are you? Who are you? You have two women's names. First name says your name. That's already confusing. Right. So are you a blonde? Are you a brunette? Are you, like, what's going on? Well, maybe Alexis on? is her bro. Maybe this is Michelle. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Michelle, it's like this flipping is Michelle a card Williams. over. This is Michelle Williams. And she it said, was Alexis, oh, you've already seen Alexis. This and now is it's Alexis. Um, 
Alexis Col uh, Carrington Colby, and then this is Michelle Williams. The body looks absolutely fucking beautiful. Everything is gorgeous about it. I just don't see her. Yeah, you, you know don't I mean? see her. I don't see her. No, she's very lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely very excited lovely. for Alexis. Okay, Michelle. who's next? Okay, hey, can Darian. I, wait, before we oh. before we get into this, can I say what I what? like about this cast? What What do you like about it? Out of left field. I don't know how to say that diplomatically, but Out of left field. they are pulling people who are immensely the talented, yeah. but weren't like top four or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, love yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a exciting. Wild, it's wild card season. You have no idea who could win. Whereas right. like other seasons, it feels like, um, you know, we let's, how do we give someone an award that maybe should have won last time? It's and the, it doesn't the, feel like that this it's time. It's the, um, it's the, the retribution or the, uh, uh, the, like they do with the Oscars. Yeah. Like snubbed for whatever reason. Okay. Darian, don't, don't oh. just skip over Darian. Um, incredible. Beautiful. Sensational. Beautiful. Sensational. Also, I know exactly who it is from the first glance. Yeah. I know exactly who that is. Jennifer Coolidge. Jennifer Coolidge. Um, Great look. Love the, this. The glove connected to the gown. I'm always love a big it. fan of that. Love it. I love that. This such a such a sexy and also not terribly expensive. Like not terribly out of the range of a drag queen. I feel like. Do you know what Just I mean? Just say cheap. No, shut up. Just say like, cheap. It, it's more You're relatable it's to me. It's more relatable it's to me. It's accessible because I look at Michelle's Alexis. Who, who this whoever. is? You know what this is? This is a ball mom for H and M. Yes, For and you. the other one was just Balmain. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like Alexis Michelle's. I'm like, that's incredible. I don't know where I would. I could. I can't even conceive of where the wheels would go to start even. And, that and we process. know what would happen if you made it. Oh, not good. I would. You know what I could do? I could do the trim on the bustier. Yeah, and that's about but, it. But as far Blue. as as far as tooting and booting, these are two very good looks. Oh, these are Love. two top toots. Yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. beautiful. I mean, Darian looks Look fucking her. gorgeous. Then she again, looks... Darian's makeup has looked like that since she was from on the Drag Race last time. From the beginning, Darian, you look fucking. The consistency great. though is great, though. The consistency is great. Uh, never Another mind the fact though. that the elephant in the room is not in the room. The elephant has. Oh, lost. she trimmed up. She lost like a whole body weight, bitch. She shed a. She lost like a hundred pounds or something. She was huge. Well, I guess I just don't feel as comfortable critiquing women's bodies as you do. <laughs> but, well, I guess that's kind of show this is. Um, oh, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but I'm saying it. I'm not saying. I'm saying I. It's a thing. It's a significant visual change. However, I still know exactly who she is. Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? And you know what this is the equivalent of? I think. Do you remember when Tati was on your All Stars? Yeah. What if you said no? I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Complete screen wipe. No, I don't remember that at all. Who is that? Darian hasn't been Tati on TV Westbrook? in that long. Yes, it hasn't been on Drag Race season in that long. Six so it's really our exciting season. Yeah, because these new new Drag Race people won't even know Darian. Right. The new Drag Race people aren't even sure who Rue is or me Thank or you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. This is Heidi honey. in the closet. Absolutely gorgeous. It's Absolutely so gorgeous. again. I thought to myself, Wow, good for you, Heidi. B, where did you get that outfit? Who made you that outfit? Yeah, it's it's like it's a, so insane. a faux leather, a faux um it's so metallic crazy. brown leather. Yeah. And it's with the um with like a um a, a coppery bronze um the lining, which is so fierce. Yeah. I'm so into it. She looks fucking fantastic. And you know what else I like about it? It's I understand that the prompt, I believe I James Mansfield told me. What was the prompt? Hollywood glamour? The prompt was like Hollywood, like um forties. What do you call it? Uh Art Deco, Hollywoody, okay. yeah, and Hollywoody. I like that she did like a, a men's suit look. Uh -huh. Basically, it's yeah. like a Dick Tracy outfit. It sure is. It's fucking cool. It's really cool. She's Heidi in the closet, and the lining eats. You know how many drag queens wouldn't even think of that? No, it's fabulous. I love it. I love that color. She looks yeah. sensational. She's one of my favorite drag queens. She's the ever. best. Yeah, love her. How do you feel about that shoe? I would have done one more fitting or hacked off the toes. I don't love this shoe. Just she should have done like a little strappy shoe. I don't love this shoe. Yeah, it's fabulous. James Mansfield, Girl. eat it, eat it, Girl. bitch. James Mansfield, fucking came Again, through, bitch. And also, I an instantly recognizable. Yeah, instantly recognizable. I watched a video on how she made this, and she said that she did one of her James Mansfield like synthetic base wigs, and then she made a dome and took long, long wefts of human 613 hair and mm -hmm. made that so that it wasn't synthetic hair getting caught all day. It was like oh, human. Oh, fabulous. And look at this. Like, it's like a backpack that frames her. Mm -hmm. it's, it's she looks fucking great. It's fierce. She looks really, really great. Yeah, it's fierce. I have no complaints. No complaints. The height of the heel for a photo, 
is a that's little all. low. That's it's all. a little low. That's all. It's, it's a, a little picture. low. Also, it's I would say uh, open toe with the with the exposed panty toe, panty hose is a little problematic for oh, photo like photo. That. You do. It's gross. I like that. Okay, Jessica Wild. Jessica Wild. Yeah, she looks fabulous. fucking beautiful. She literally looks, looks like RuPaul. Yeah, she does. Looks great. Wow. Instantly recognizable. I know exactly who that is. I don't. My brain doesn't have to search through the database at all. Not at all. Not at all. And I, you know. I'm not the best when it comes to remembering or identifying. Jessica Wilde you know is I mean? from season two, bitch. Season fucking two. Wow. Season two. That was 1994. Season two in All Stars one, I believe, right? No, she wasn't on All Stars one. She hasn't been on All Stars at all. Season two. This is very exciting. This is very exciting. It's a big moment for Jessica. And it's also huge. a big moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Top there, two to the whole bunch for Mama, sure. There's, there's, there's eating. There's nibbling, there's yeah. eating, and then there's gobbling. Yeah, she she's gobbled gobbling. It. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is so fucking cool. Yeah, it's the biggest. Again, surf. though, like it's again. I'm like, who is doing? Who did it? Do we know? Tracy, do the research. People, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Do you think that I sat and made sure I didn't even look at these before this? No, no, no. I'm saying I'm. We will know. Oh. She's looking it up. Okay. Because I think we need to know. I feel like there needs to be style credits in these photos. The makeup is really uh, good. She fabulous. looks great. Yeah. Not exactly a classic beauty. No. Not exactly a classic beauty. No. Not, not winning like, not winning Her beauty category pageant not awards. Face. No, no, no. But Poor she, body. She, well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, the, the she looks really fucking amazing. She, she looks knows. incredible. You know, when this came out, all the other, all these other drag queens were like, God damn it, yeah. And that's what I love about these. Um, you really, it, honestly, the 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 peak is is however is your energy level. Yeah. Do you know what I mean with drag? It's like the only limits you have, it's like a Nike commercial. The only limits are the ones that you impose on yourself. Of course he did. Diego it's Montoya. Diego Montoya's drag race. It's just absolutely I'm incredible. Gonna, you know what? I'm going to say something really crazy. What? I bet that costs 30 grand. I, there's no way. You don't think so? Where do you think she got it? From Diego Montoya. No, the 30 grand bitch. I don't know. I don't know where anybody's getting all this money. I'll tell you this. I love drag. I love drag. I, I think love that drag. costs 30 grand. I love drag. I'm not buying $30,000 dresses. Well, that's what I'm saying. Not for anything. Not for drag race. Not for a funeral. Nothing. Uh, maybe I'm going to dial that down. I bet it costs 15 grand. I bet it did. I've never bought anything like that. I have not either. Do you know, do you know, do you realize the high and also the, 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 the accompanying, um, guilt slash regret slash devastation that I, when I bought that Gucci suit for $5,000, $6,000 Canadian. Wasn't it McQueen suit, the leather? Uh, no, that was Gucci in Canada. Jeez. I was like the biggest spike in adrenaline. And then I was like, what did I do? That was spooky. It was spooky. But it, was, it, was, it only came down to like 5,000 American because it was like 6,500 Canadian. Whoa. But that was a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And that was yeah. back, that was a while ago. Yeah. And I've never bought anything like that in a garment. A like garment. A That's the garment. problem too. Should, you can't really wear it all the time. Like, well, I have worn it. I've worn it a dozen times. I've gotten I've the ju pink suit. I've juiced the fuck out of that thing. The pink suit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've I've got my money's worth. It's so uncomfortable though. A it's leather like butter. suit. It's like butter. If I were in the in the Arctic. Or in a air. Conditioner. But that's not what's happening. <laughs> I, know, I know. But this is. It's just unbelievable. Jimbo, you know that you really like. This you is one of the best combo looks I've ever it's seen. Sensational. It's probably one of the best ever. I was top three. Yeah. Top three best ever, 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 ever. It's just so props beautiful. to Diego Montoya and props to your bank account for letting go of all that props cash. Props to money spending. Yeah, because that is so sickening. Just, just beyond. This is very you, by the way. Are you kidding? I would steal it off her. I would kill her for it. Yeah, yeah. It's so cunty. I wouldn't pay for it, but I'd kill her. It's so cunty. It's, it's so just cunty. beyond. It fits like a fucking glove. It's just it's absolutely so fierce. beyond. It's so next level. It's just flawless. It's I know. Like, flawless. I feel like RuPaul wishes she was wearing that. It's flawless. Okay, here we go. Kahana Montrees. Now we were very covered up and now we're doing ho shit. Oh, whoops. Oh my God. Kahana oh Montrees giving ho shit. Doing ho shit. Oh shit. I want to do ho shit. I want to, I want to ask if you're, oh, I guess it's none of my business. She's not here. I just want to know about like the body. Oh, you want to know about this? Oh, you think this is naked? Oh yeah, it is naked, huh? I, it's naked. And I want to know about, I want to know about Let's Pumptina. Let's be honest. Pumptina. I don't think many born cis 
male people have that shape. I'm sure it's, it's incredible. A, it's a little extra help, I'm sure. A little extra, a little after school special, a little extra curricular after special, but then also a little Photoshop special. Oh like, yeah, 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 everything. Yeah. But my God, doesn't it look flawless? It looks absolutely stunning. She's like a Vegas showgirl. This, I think, the most erotic it's part goddess. on a drag queen's body, which we never see, is where the tights would end. So I'm hypnotized yes. by yes. I'm hypnotized by the top of the hips where there's normally capizio. I know. I'm hypnotized by that. This this lovely um this lovely little crease right here, which is something you never really get in a drag. She looks absolutely flawless. I mean, come on. Super stunning. Super stunning. Candy Moose. Candy Moose. Oh wow. I haven't seen this one. Really fucking cool. Oh, I think it's fantastic. Really fucking cool, man. Now she's a short queen. She is? Yes. She's short. I don't think that's true. Is it true, Tracy? No, she's tall. Okay, she's tall. So she's a tall queen. <laughs> I think she's at least as tall as I am. She's like 6'1". She's got to be. Look it up, Trace. Look it up. She's got to be like 6'1". I don't what believe that. What an incredible that. look. Love the shoe. Love she's the dress. She's 6'1"? Um, she's 6'1 with these towering high heels and then... Love the hair. Love the... These guys love, are crouched. I love the um, gloves. But you know what we got to give it up for? What? I don't think we talk enough about how successful her makeup artistry oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She that is makeup is beyond. beautiful. We had her on the channel and beautiful. it was like up close her face. I was like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. The blending. Huh? Okay, she's, she's not a short girl. No. She's not a short girl. She's a big girl. This is a big day for Candy. Yeah, this is huge for her. Um, now, for Candy, um, this is really... No, no, no remarks that I... I mean, it's a great from head to toe. Yeah. Hair to shoe. It's And it's also very dear. Farm to like, table. Yeah, farm to table. Farm it's to table. It's really great. It's a fabulous, wonderful color for her. By the way, if you're looking at these promos, make sure you zoom in on the photographers. There's a lot of fuckable people in there. Yeah. Who the hell is that? I th I think this is Lala Ree. Okay, Lala right. Ree from Canada, season one. The no. bag, right? No, no. From from season She's not from Canada, season thirteen, she? season twelve. She's not from Canada. No, no, no. She was from the one with um the bags. The bags. Yes, the bags. I did the pit stop, but I I thought that was. Wow. Yeah. It was season fourteen, thirteen, twelve. This is well, she's this certainly is not in paper bags today. Look at no, her. No, she's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. What Absolutely a Very big beautiful. glow up. What glow. a face. Lovely face. Love to me, not color. enough hair. No, not enough hair. Also, it looks like um she's giving insect. She's giving like pincer, like um insect. The hair is bugifying her face right now to mm. me. Do you know what I mean? It's like it looks like um like pincers, like oh, like I've, like clip like clip like little yeah 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 little <laughs> but uh got. I love the color. Love I love the, outfit. the color. The 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 fabric is so cool. And you know what you don't think about, and most people don't think about, is these nude illusion looks. Doing nude illusion they is so have much to harder. Be an illusion. You have to wear so much shapewear and smooth out all that shapewear. Yeah. it's horrible. Nude and the color suck. match. The color match has to be so perfect. It's really really risky. It it's is really risky. Easier to do it in a photograph than it is to do it live. Although these were videos as well. Um, but I think it was done really successfully. I'm not crazy about this pattern. The pattern of these. Um, I would have loved appliques. stones. I would have loved symmetry. Some kind of symmetry. The symmetry doesn't bother me because the bottom's not symmetrical. I know, but, but I would have loved stones. There's too much bare nude fabric yeah, for me. Yeah, there's no I, a gradient. Some kind of a gradient with the like stones as, as well as the uh, the applique. Stones sticking out. Stones sticking out. Stones, 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 stones sticking out. Hi, it's Trixie and Katya. We are doing a live Bald and the Beautiful at Just for Laughs on Thursday, July 27th, and tickets are available now. Get yours at montreal.hahaha.com. That's montreal.hahaha.com. Monica Beverly Hills. My God. This is crazy. Yeah, Monica Beverly Hills from um, um, season... Season th five. Five? Five, yeah, wow. season five. This is crazy. Um, the face is beyond. The face is gorgeous. I don't love this costume. Not at all. No. I think it, the way, also the way it's photographed is very strange. The face is absolutely beyond. Mm -hmm. Really not, really not thrilled about the outfit. But no, that's just I think me. it's also like it's also the and don't at me and don't tell me. There's a Wendy people. Williams in a uh, cold therapy. I you were you were looking up. This isn't my computer. Oh, it's not your computer. <laughs> 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 You turned around, she was gone, and you went, oh. <laughs> like you're in okay. clue. Okay. And this isn't my favorite outfit. And you know no. what? And by the way, I just want to say, don't tag these people. 
I don't know why no. people. We don't need them to hear what we think of their fucking outfits. No, Do we not need tag you them, to hear it. Them. We need yeah. you to hear it. We can talk shit about people, and they don't have to hear about we're it. We're not talking shit. We're, we're lovingly critiquing. Giving snap we're judgments. Analysis. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 we're not done. We're not done with Miss Beverly Hills. I mean, yeah, the legs look great. The hair looks great. It's just a little Wendy Williams thing of the of the hip situation. Yeah, I need. I need more of a and more of a. Okay, I think we recognize this whore. Oh my God, I forgot she was on this season. Yeah, Kasha Davis, Mrs. Mrs. Kasha Davis. Mrs. Kasha Davis. Instantly recognizable. Yes. Instantly recognizable. What's going on here? She's signing her own pictures. Love it. There's always time for a thumbnail. (laughs) Um, She looks great. Very, very Kasha. Look, Kasha likes this type of hair, this like. Yeah. What do you call it? Hollywood Boulevard, Hollywood. like a big sculpted the, the, yeah, yeah, brunch, yeah, yeah, yeah. brunch wig. The brunch wig, yeah. Um, and the, the she loves outfitters wig. Kasha loves movement in her legs too. She likes cat suits and like legs. Mm-hmm. So if you notice, this looks like a gown, but she has two free legs. Yeah, I think it's fierce. I think she I looks like it. great. She looks bad. Honestly, something Kasha Davis has a lot of people. You have this. Kashi Davis's eyes are light, light green, mm-hmm. and so when she puts on even a smoky eye, Kasha's eyes are just. Mm-hmm. I remember when I first met Kasha, I was like, whoa, your eyes. It's like, mm-hmm. she does have emeralds. really beautiful eyes. Yeah, yeah. She has such a good face in drag yeah. and such a good person. I just She's fucking a, love Kasha Davis. Fab- yeah, I love her too. Congratulations, Kasha. Congratulations. Nasha Lopez <laughs> from Chicago, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Girl. So beautiful. This is Demi Lovato. So, yes. This is Demi Lovato it's saying, Demi Lovato. Have you ever seen that clip of Demi Lovato saying, it's in that moment I knew. I'm going to beat this bitch up. <laughs> That's how I feel looking at this picture. She looks on fucking real. Wow. Nisha, Wet my hair. God. Wet hair. It's porn. The foot, porn the hair. toes, the Doing chest. Porn. Wet hair. I think, I, it's, I think the the bustier on the bust on this outfit is a little bit low. I agree. It's a little low. But um, I really hate wet hair, except uh-huh. this works for me. Yeah, I mean, she's really stunning. Although the only thing that's going on with her face that's a little bit tough is I don't recognize her instantly. But that might speak to my ignorance rather than her like lack of branding or whatever. Do you know what she's I mean? She's such a beauty. Her, she her is makeup such a beauty. is just And she's ridiculous. such a beauty close up. Close up. Close up beauty. You know how you get a lot of dogs? You get a lot of dogs in drag, a lot of woof woof. But mm-hmm. from far away, it's like whistle whistle. And then you get up close and it's kennel. She's like from three inches away. She's absolutely gorgeous. Unbelievable. Yeah. Congratulations, Nasha. You look fucking great. Stunny. 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 Is that it? Please don't be it. Is that it? That's it. Is that it? So how about some sickening tea, bitch? Some sickening drag race tea, bitch? You ready for some sickening tea, bitch? Well, that was a little bit of an Easter egg for people who like drag race who listen to us. But, you know, I'm excited. I love, I love, it's more exciting to me to have a bunch of people that you're like, I would have loved to see them more. I didn't see them enough episodes. There's a lot of people here who didn't do many episodes of drag race. Right. One or two, in fact. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I hope I get to do pit stop. I'm going to tell you something. I, I'll, t- I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. I happen to know some things about this season that not the average person does. I've I've learned a few things as well. Okay. Um, did you see Jimbo's entrance look? Yes. Um, bikini lady. The first thing I thought bikini of was lady. the sweat. I the, don't know the, how. The although, buckets of sweat. But you know what, though? If you're going to do that, if you're going to. Ch- I was thinking about it, too. And that's the first thing my mind went to, like, red alert, panic. I started, like, have a, like, a lizard brain reaction. Like, uh-huh. I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. The the the, the board the boardroom. The boardroom. What's it called? The workroom. The workroom <laughs> is. <laughs> the workroom is where you want to do that. Uh, yeah, good point. That's a really it's good point. Freezing. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you're Arctic right. blast. It's. I mean, to walk in. In a complete nude silicone suit is so it's, insane. It's so insane. It's and also, so gross but and fun and nasty and beautiful. And it's like everything I want. I from just drag. think about like I the only thing I think about is getting in the van, getting in the van in the morning, and then being in holding <sighs> in an Uber. In holding. No, but they're not in Uber and they're in a van. Yeah. With maybe no air air conditioning. God knows where they're staying, Simi Valley, Burbank. And they're in the van at five, at like seven a.m. Seven a.m. And they're in full drag, in in the full head to toe rubber. I know. And then silicone. And then you have to wait. Sometimes these whores are waiting for hours. two hours. Hours. Hours in holding. May or may not be air conditioning in there. May or may not be air conditioning in there. May or may not be. Yeah. May or may not be. And then you go into the workroom. Maybe four hours later, and it's cold. But what what horrors have hath rot in the in the in the 
in the minutes between that? Well, I don't know if we want to talk about this, but you know, you, do you know about the discourse around Jimbo's outfit on the internet? No, what is it? People feel that it's misogynistic. And how's that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel that way, but I'm Because it's I'm making observing. fun of a woman? I guess. I don't know. What's making fun of a woman? <laughs> I don't know. I was looking, Well, I was looking for pictures of the outfit. I was like, oh, okay. I, w- I put in like Jimbo entrance on Twitter and uh-huh. it was like, this looks making fun of women through, the, through, through making fun of the male gaze. Uh-huh. I don't know. I just work here and I was just like, <laughs> okay, but we also wear padded bras. Okay, but we also wear corsets. Okay, but like, I think we're we think we're doing Christina Ricci there. I think yeah. we're doing Christina Ricci. I don't know. I mean, people can feel how they feel. Mm-hmm. The great news is, with drag, you can have an impassioned opinion that is different than what the drag queen thinks. Because absolutely. especially in drag, drag queens don't care what you think. No, 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 no. So no. if you really want to passionately hate it, don't worry. Go for it. Not one second of sleep is lost by a right. drag queen. By a drag queen, of course not. Yeah. Oh, we give feminine illusion apparently in Jimbo's mockery. That's really crazy. But I wear fake titties all the time. But oh, what's the Jimbo difference? Is. Picking the first we're creating a feminine illusion, the last one is a mockery. Okay, okay. But what's the okay. difference, honey? Okay, that is <laughs> six of one, like, a half dozen of the other. I'm sorry to say. Sometimes, some, Listen, and I hate this phrase, but sometimes oh we God. do need to, in fact, take grass and touch it. <laughs> We have to touch it. We have to touch grass. We have to, and we have to remember that as an audience member watching a television show, we are an invited guest to an art form that existed long before this television show. Oh, sure, show. sure, sure. And, so and, let and people do their that, drag. I would even say that art is a little bit of a is a, is a is we're uh, using we use liberties. A hundred percent. We're taking liberties and That's latitudes. That's the same liberty as our feminine illusion. <laughs> yes. We're taking liberties and latitudes. It's really crazy. <laughs> it's really art. crazy. This art form. Mary Art? Is this at the Whitney Biennial? But is this there's a, a lot of things that are art considered Basel? art. That, yeah, yeah, of course, of you know, course, of course, um, of course, of course. Golf is considered a sport. Thank you. Thank you, Arnold Palmer. Is poker a sport technically? Poker, the World Series. The World Series. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just hope. I, I hope for peace and blessings with Jimbo and the I hope that Twitter so much community. grass is felt. They took I, the blue checks, but they can't take our grass. <laughs> <laughs> they can't take our grass, Let's baby. take a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> Fuck. Don't take my grass. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that is, I thought that was a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's all over Twitter. I thought that was a joke. It's all over Twitter. It's young, it's, it's, it's young, young girls. They took our blue checks and now, it, now we're defenseless against um, feminist critiques, yes. post-feminist critiques. Yes. Um, oh, I can defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> can I have my phone? I have a, I have a list of things I wanted to tell you about. Oh, tell me. When wait, I come wait, in here wait, with wait, no wait. plan, I feel like I get made fun of. Let's let's let okay. final <clears throat> thoughts on Drag yeah, Race All Stars. I'm thrilled. You know, nobody cares what we think. Who cares? But I'm excited. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even have David Silver has cable. I don't even know mm-hmm. how to use it in our house. Yeah. I don't know. I think so, I shall be tuning in unless I have pit stop or something. I don't often see it. Yeah. But for yeah. this particular All Stars, yeah, I will be tuning in. I shall be tuning in as well. Um, I am interested to see. This is a very motley crew of ladies. You know what I'm excited about? It's a little on the older side. Yeah, it's crossing over. It's not. It's not a. It's it's a little bit long in the tooth. Yeah, good point. Thank they you. all are. Thank is there a single? The is there a single like twenty year old? I don't think so. Maybe even Miss Nasha, Miss Continental, is a little uh, is a, is pushing the thirty. Who's the youngest? Candy maybe. Candy Moose. In the only 20, twenty year old. Twenty eight, and that's the that's the, the youngest. I love this season of the oldies. Because Sweating last the season oldies. they had they had spay and neuter. What is it? Spay and neuter your pets? No, sp- spepper and pet. What is uh, it? Pe- pe- um, Peppa Pig. Sugar and spice. Sugar and spice. <laughs> spay and neuter. <laughs> They had Peppa and Pig. Pe- Pepper the Pig. Pepper the Pig. But they were really young, I think. Yes, they were like 20. Yeah. 21, right? 21? 21. They were TikTokers. They were TikTokers. God love them. Have you had them on the channel yet? No, but I, I aspire to. I want to have more collabs this year because... Are you listening, Pepper the Pig? That's not, that's not their name. <laughs> spice and Ice. Ice Spice. That's not Sugar their and either. Spice. Sugar and Spice. Which is, by the way, Sugar and Spice. Just fucking incredible branding. No, I know. Twins I know. called Sugar and Spice. I know. And one of them dresses all fun and one of them's kind of goth. Yeah. 
Yeah, if Spice I was the their Goth manager, Blend, Spice I would the have Blend. them in a double mint commercial tomorrow. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And, and I haven't twins. seen them with enough endorsements. I'm just saying, I would be their manager and I would hoard them out more. I think they're being hoarded out as we speak. Sugar mm. and spice, are you being whored out appropriately? Are Let us being know in the out? comments. We can whore you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, be she your, will whore you out. We should I will observe. and be their managers. <laughs> yes. I'll be the one, the lazy one. Yeah, there's and, also a sugar and spice in the manager relationship. Yes. Where spay one and of neuter. us does something. <laughs> That's sugar and spice, and we're spay and neuter. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Noreen neuter, and I'm, um yeah, a Sally spay. Who is out of spay and neuter? Which one is the go getter? Spay? spay? Spay. Spay. And neuter is the one that takes away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say is neuter neuter's dog's balls ne- cut neuter off? Neuter is is taking the balls away, and spay is is it, is a is it's like a, a it's is, like a cat hysterectomy basically. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's probably yeah. Um, uh, d- so d- girls d- get spays, boy yes. cats get neuters. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we don't know those cats' genders. Yeah, thank you, thank we you. We really don't. We know really their don't. Genders. Know if you touch grass, where's the grass? I'm gonna touch it. Oh, I touched grass yesterday on 420. Ooh, say it again, girl. <laughs> Ooh, say it again, girl. Say it again. Ooh. <laughs> I think we should go. Okay. We've had a nice run. We've had a nice run. We're going to go touch some grass. I want to say good luck to everybody on All Stars. Good you have, luck. Do you have a horse in the race? Well, yes. If you had to pick now just based on what you saw? I'm going to go with Jimbo. Love that. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to go with Jimbo. I got to go with James Mansfield, of course. Oh, okay, for My daughter. Right my a son. Lot of, and Mrs. Kasha Dave, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of horses on the run today. I know. And Kasha's our little season seven buddy. So we, she's an honorable mention. Yeah. She's an honorable Tempest mention. Tempest glaringly absent in this lineup. Tempest glaringly absent in this lineup. I'm just going to say Tempest that. Tempest is taking care of two cans and shit. She's yeah, that's busy. true. She's busy. Yeah, she's Mr. Magoo. Not Mr. Magoo. Mr. McGee. Who's the one with the Mr. Do- Dr. Doolittle? Dr. Doolittle. Bobby McGee. Dr. Doolittle. She's Dr. Doolittle. Belinda Carlisle. Belinda. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>